Yo, this is my third take on this shit. Cause I'm trying to figure out how to put all of this good. I wanted to extend it the time just to get the ad revenue. I'm not gonna lie, but you know what? Just, just fuck it. Let's let's just be real right now. I'm right, you're wrong. I'm right, you're wrong. With Bailey, I didn't want Bailey to come up. Yet I feel like she has something. Just something, I didn't know what, just something to do. And, well, look at her now. So let's go back into NXT. I had to fight Charlotte and, and, and Becky Lynch just to get an NXT Women's title match. I take over Brooklyn against Sasha after Sasha won that Fatal Forward Women's title match. And then after that, guess what? Bailey, you know, she fought Sasha at TakeOver Brooklyn. And defeated Sasha with the that picture right there. Poison Rana, the reversal Rana from the top, which was beautiful. A beautiful picture perfect landing right there, okay? So they had their match. The fans in Brooklyn was ecstatic, right? They were insane. They were crazy. I loved it, right? And after that, after that poison Rana, Bay to Belly. You know, she she hits her finishing move, the Bailey to Belly, or the Belly to Bailey, I don't know. She lands it, pins Sasha one, two, three, got the win. Charlotte and Becky came through, and Sasha again crying, doing her her four, you know, the, the four horsewomen, the four the four horsemen pose, right? That's what they're doing, right? In the middle of the ring. Then after that on NXT, you know, Bailey comes out, shower with love as always. Was like, I finally did it. I finally earned. We did this, guys. Right? Sasha comes out on NXT later on. She's like, look, I want my rematch. We had a great match, great moment. You won the title finally. But guess what? I want my rematch. And after William Regal made it at NXT Take Over Respect or NXT Take or NXT Respect, I don't know, but it's one of them shits. But anyways, that happens. They have their awesome, not in my opinion, not at the same level as their first match because I knew Beta was gonna win, so it kind of deducted that a little bit. But still, top notch classic match, Iron Woman match. First time main eventing a, a NXT show, um, Bailey and Sasha, uh, 30 minutes, went crazy, she got the win. And then everybody was celebrating, everybody went crazy, flowers for both women. Bailey made her debut after, after, after later on, after she defeated uh, Nia Jax and Asuka. Oh, no, after she defeated Nia Jackson, lost to Asuka at TakeOver Dallas and at TakeOver, at TakeOver Brooklyn, too. She finally made her debut. She, de she debuted on Battleground. She had a tag team match with Sasha Banks. And after that, um, she went away, did her thing with Asuka, came back. Mick Foley said, she's the hottest free agent in WWE Sports Entertainment, blah, blah, blah. She got signed. She comes out. She fights Jobber after Jobber. Had a situation with... Uh, Sasha Banks, uh, a botch pin there, and then after that, which left for that triple threat women's title match at Clash of Champions, Bailey got pinned. Bailey got pinned at Clash of Champions by a big boo by Charlotte. Okay, kind of weak finish since the Royal Rumble, but still weak ass finish. Bailey lost via big boo. I don't mind Bailey losing; it's just a big boo. Really? So, later on, Bailey would um, fight job after jobber, and then, then this past Monday Night on Raw, to continue the fucking crappy feud of Dana Brooke, she fights Dana Brooke, not a wrestling match, on a wrestling show, she fights Dana Brooke in a arm wrestling match! Who won? Who fucking cares? So... And then it's announced, Bailey will fight uh, Dana Brooke at Hell in the Cell. Yay. Like, I want to see that again. So, who's right, who's wrong? You wanted Bailey up so bad. Look at her now. 
arm wrestling matches, jobber after jobber, fighting the same people again and again. Should have went to SmackDown, and she should have done something in NXT. But nope, she's pointless on Monday Night Raw.